welcome back and now we have Steve Hall back with us as part of the series on living a life of value and meaning and today's topic is feeling at home. Welcome back Steve. Thanks Linda, it's wonderful to be here again. And today you're talking about feeling at home. So how important is it to feel at home? Linda, it's so important and I love this topic because it's it sums up in a feeling I think. It's what I think of as home feels like. Um, home is a sense of belonging. You know, you really identify with where you are and, you know, it's the core of our being. You know, we, we've learned who we are and why that's important, but it's also important to understand where we fit in, where we belong, where we feel at home. It doesn't have to be, you know, exactly the home you grew up in, but you need to feel at home somewhere. So it's hugely important. And why is it important in today's world, do you feel? Well, the world is changing, but Australia, I see that changing as well. You know, um, so much of, of Australia is a multicultural society, so it means a lot of people have left uh, a land some, and a home somewhere else on a different continent uh, to be here. That's, that's step one. But now, you know, home ownership is something that is more like uh, an investment and a way to grow a, an income at the same time and set yourself up for the future and all that. So. Home is no longer something, a house that you move into when you're young and you first get married and you keep building extensions on and it grows over decades. Now it's like we're more like hermit crabs and we, you know, get a shell and once we outgrow it, we move to another one and upgrade and, and so it goes. So we can sort of lose that connection with where we might have felt we belonged because um, our parents, they probably gave that sense of home to us. Um, and when you go home, it's like, wow, there's a feeling to it. But later on in life, when you get to middle age or older, you know, your, your parents sooner or later are gonna pass away and you'll be challenged. And it's like, you could be searching for meaning and a belonging and something's missing, you're not sure what. And it's this connection, this feeling of home. So it's really important that we've got somewhere we can identify with it as well as identify who we are. And, and that goes full circle. You know, you'll learn who you are as a person, discover what your values are and that you're living your values, get your identity and understand who you are. But now you need to have a sense of belonging with it. So when you've got those values and you incorporate them every day into your everyday life, and that could be something like a value could be having fun or a value could be connecting with other people. Uh, once you understand what your values are, you know, your top five or 10 values, you bring them into your life all the time and you've got to protect them with a, we call it a boundary, but it's like understanding what makes you, you. And so then you can disassociate yourself with any drama going on in life. You don't take on all the drama that's happening around you. You know who you are and you can look at it and you can feel separate to it. It's like, I understand who I am now. There's drama there, there's someone in trouble. I can help them, but I don't have to get involved. I don't have to wear and take the responsibility of everything that's going on. I just take what's in my control. So that doing that creates a sense of home in yourself. You start understanding who you are. And when you know that, you feel a lot more powerful, a lot more stable in life. And so no longer do you need somewhere like a home to identify with so that you belong there. It's like all of a sudden you can be in the middle of anywhere in the world, in the middle of any drama going on around you, and you'll feel a little bit more strong and calm in who you are, and you will have a sense of being at home. You've got all the memories that you're brought up with, all those lovely memories and emotions. You'll think of people that made you feel that way, but you will feel at home no matter where you are. It's like you're carrying it around with you. So it's very important. It's so important too, because so many people rent. Yeah. Not everybody has a home base that they could that they could call their home. Yeah. You know, once you have to move house, it's like creating that new home, isn't it? Exactly, and more and more people are renting nowadays um, for many different reasons, but it's like, isn't it so good to know that it doesn't matter where you are, what situation you, you're in, that you're gonna feel at home no matter where you are. Like, it, it's really, really good way of living your life and feeling that certainty and sense of power. It's, um, I think we all need that. And so what would, you be, what would be the, the thing you could say to, for, our, or for our viewers that we get one thing that they could do just sure. to help themselves feel at home with themselves? And here's, this is the fun advice, you know, 
I don't like giving advice that's onerous or hard, you know, that people go, oh, I have to do that, I have to do that, like dieting, you know, you've got to stop doing something. The advice for feeling at home is do what you love, you know, which are your values. What, what you really value doing are the things that you love to do naturally and you want to experience all the time. So make sure you live more in accordance with what you love yourself and bring it to life. You are important, invest in yourself, make sure you do those things, get a list of your values, sort it out. I can't recommend that highly enough. And do one of them every day or, or all 10 every day and watch your life explode. You know, um, you become very happy, very centered in who you are. And um, it, it's such fun to tick those things off at the end of every day going, I really have done stuff for me. Um, it's really important to bring the best version of yourself out in life and this is how you do it. So thanks for, for joining us for this series. It's wonderful to have spent that time and get all of these valuable tips for our viewers. And we'll finish the show for today and we'll see you next time. So if you have any more information on Steve Hall and living a life of value and meaning, then please go to his webpage on our website, healthwellbeingandlifestyle.com.au. And we'll see you next week. Thank you.